All right, guys, welcome back. So today we are working on building a ground mount for our solar panels. We have 28 of them going on there. You can see yep. them back there, all stacked up on the pallet. Super excited for it. Yeah, so 28 will go up, maybe 30. Uh, we have another couple that are damaged, um, so we're trying to see, we'll decide later. But for now, we are building 28 panels. Uh, so four rows and seven columns. We are gonna put um, five posts in the ground on each side, the front and the back. And uh, yeah, we'll see. This is our first time building something like this. So far we had build that solar tracker, which we have only five solar panels on it, mm -hmm. but we need way, way, way more energy than five solar panels. So right. we got our all the rest of our solar panels finally. We're ready to do this. We learn as we go, uh, and uh, yeah. Wish us luck. Wish Let's us get luck. to it. Yeah. So we got everything here. We're gonna go and get the John Deere. Uh, we're gonna detach the uh, backhoe and attach the auger. We're gonna use 12 inch auger for this one. All right, so one thing you guys, um, one thing to remember, anytime you uh, disconnect any type of attachments, hydraulic attachments, always make sure that you are, that you don't have any pressure because if not, you won't be able to detach it. Or attach it you won't be able to disconnect or connect the uh, the uh, hoses the hydraulic hoses so I cleared all of the pressure and then it makes it much 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 easier to connect everything so just keep that in mind all right it's good to go all right so we went ahead and started marking the the area where the posts are going to be for the ground mount just to get a better visual on everything and to make sure this is where we want to put it. Well, unfortunately, we don't have the perfect spot for it. It's like we know where the house is going to be, but we don't want to be too far away from the house. We have some plans for this area here. It's a little bit too steep. We worried about uh, shadows that gonna cast on the solar panels. So we want it away from everything, including the house. Um, so really for now, that's the best spot. It looks like. Uh, we're not interrupting the other solar panels uh, that we have. Yeah, so we're gonna go for it. And hopefully uh, we won't have to uh, rip those uh, posts out of the ground and relocate it in a year or two. All right, so next we're gonna go ahead and drill the holes with the auger. So we just got done with one row, the back row, and all of them are seven foot tall. It was awesome because we were able to use the uh, self-leveling rotary level that we have. So we we're able to set it up right here and that moves and basically we we're able to get all of them in the same height. 
so that way no matter the terrain which you can see the terrain is very very uneven we're able to get all of them to uh, match on their top part so all of them are level to seven feet now let's go and start the uh, first uh, row front row Today is a new day. Yesterday we checked the angle and we adjusted by lowering these five front posts a little bit more into the ground. So they're just at one foot above the ground now and the ones in the back are seven feet above the ground which gives us a 40 degree angle which is what we wanted. And now we're just going to finish assembling the rest of the mount today. guys we got officially got two rows of solar panels in and it's looking great yeah a little bit of a <coughs> tweaking and tweaking lots of tweaking yeah I should lots say. of tweaking looks good we're now gonna have to figure out how to uh, tighten those bolts and how to put the next row of the solar panels up uh, by ourselves but uh, yeah we'll figure it out and, uh, and we'll see but so far it looks great
here. Yep. Iron Ridge caps. Caps. This is looking great. That's massive.